I do this show cause you like me to say things on the internet. Anarchy. What the fuck is anarchy? If you were to ask 20 people, you'd get as many answers. That kind of makes the term totally meaningless. So let's step back for a moment. Some would say that it's the lack of existence of a central state. That's impossible. When national governments fall, other forms of government take their place almost immediately. This fact is illustrated over and over again to anybody who studied history. The monarchies of Europe arose after the fall of the Roman Empire. After the collapse of the central state in Somalia, warlords came to power. So, what is government? Broadly, government is any system of rule that governs a society. But let's say that you do smash the state and we end up like Somalia. It would only be a matter of days before gang leaders used brute force in order to demand the compliance of others. I mean, we have these exact forms of governments on the streets already in places like Rio, Mexico City, and Los Angeles. Or nationwide in places like Somalia or Afghanistan. There we call them warlords. Like I stated previously, the monarchs of Europe arose out of the anarchy of the fall of Rome. They were nothing more than gang leaders themselves. Noam Chomsky claims that anarchism is the same thing as socialism. I didn't know that Sweden, Germany, France, and England were all anarchist states. Now some, like Chomsky, would state that anarchy does in fact have a system of laws and rules and order, where all people are equal and no one is in charge. <laughs> you can't have rules without somebody enforcing them. That's what government does. Furthermore, this asinine theory of political organization assumes that there's no such thing as assholes in the world, that everybody's nice. Sorry, but assholes exist and society needs to figure out a way to deal with them. This means having rules that can be enforced, which means having people enforce those rules, which by definition means government. As soon as you have a system of rule by which society is governed, that's government. If any person assumes that they're more equal than the rest of society and use violence to achieve that end, you better believe that they'll become more equal. That is, until someone who's stronger or more cunning comes along and kills them. But then that quickly delves into chaos. A cycle of violence, much like we see on the streets of Mexico City, Rio, or Los Angeles. Others would define anarchism as anarcho-capitalism. That is, a totally laissez-faire, free market system is the only form of government. With corporations doing as they please, without any government interference in the market. Under this model, corporations would exist as nations, and citizenship wouldn't be dependent on geography, only by employment. Again, with assholes in the world like Eric Prince, former CEO of Blackwater, this could quickly and very easily devolve into gang warfare, though on a much larger scale, with mercenaries storming the offices of opposing corporations. <laughs> and killing off all their employees. In the book Anarchy, State, and Utopia, Robert Nozick discusses the viability of anarchy, or the lack thereof, concluding that it was impossible for a strictly anarchist society to flourish, let alone exist, for very long, since a strictly anarchist society offers no protections against infringements on liberty, such as theft, murder, invasion by foreign forces, violations of contract. Now, violations of contract. Let's imagine that you, uh, you shrug the capitalist state and you have your neighbor and you're bartering with him and you decide you're going to give him ten pigs that he fixed your roof. And he decides not to fix your roof. What are you going to do? Nozick concluded that since assholes exist, what is both needed and justified is a minarchist state, in which the state has just enough power to prevent the violations of liberty of the individual. Which isn't a new idea, and in fact sounds a lot like what Thomas Jefferson had to say. Merriam-Webster's dictionary's first definition for anarchism is an absence of government. Well, since wherever there are people, there is government, anarchy only exists where there are no people, by definition. Now, in accordance with this definition, I'd like to put forward another definition of anarchy the default state of the universe. Anarchy is what happens in the absence of human intervention. We will always have anarchy, always, even under government. Since anarchy is the natural state of being, it's the context in which government happens. Truth be told, the anarchy that most people talk about is not anarchy at all. It's some form of minarchism. When the right-wing libertarians talk about anarchy, they're talking about anarcho-capitalism. When left-wing hippies talk about anarchy, they're talking about communal minarchism. Until a consensus can be reached on the definition of anarchy, all discussion of this matter is just pissing in the wind.
I sell t-shirts, do 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 do.